dummy. You will protect me from that mean angel, won't you? Tommy's fast asleep when Rhea wakes him up. A scream then. She, uh, is having a nightmare and Tommy does what he can. Remember, Tommy's the no arm Chinese fella, got that way brown nosing. He was told to stick his right arm in the wood chipper in front of him, and he did that. His left arm jumped off. Luckily, he has met Rhea, who is helping him out. And, yeah, Tommy has no arms. He's woken up by Rhea screaming in her sleep, and he nudges her. He kind of kicks her a little bit. That's all he can do to wake her up. And uh, once he does wake up, she tells him about the nightmare. She says he was sitting up on a cloud. And Tommy says, that's why you're screaming? And she says, no, I was talking to this, this other girl who was sitting on a cloud. And I asked her, what happened when you got here? And she said, well, I, I got to the front gate there, and this angel Sandra was there, and she looked me up in that big book of hers. Oh, Sandra's a nice guardian angel. She has to take her turn on the gate. She looked me up in that book, and she was not happy. She kept reading and reading, and her hand went to that trap door. And you know where the trap door goes to. And she kept reading, she kept reading, and she was about to pull that trap door. I, I did what, uh, first thing that came into my mind, the only thing that came into my mind, I yelled out, I love Milton's imagery. And that brought a smile to Sandra's face. And she took her hand off that, uh, that lever there for the trap door, and she opened up the uh, the gates of heaven there and I got to go in. H how things happened when you got here and of course uh, Rhea's in the, the nightmare there. She says I don't know. Uh, I don't think I remember getting here. And just then this mean looking angel comes walking up and he says hey you there point right at Rhea. You gotta get out of here. You don't belong here. And he drags her that fiery pit, you know, underneath the trap door. And she turns to Tommy and she uh, tells him about that. And she says, If uh, that mean angel shows up, you will protect me from that mean angel who wants to cast me down into the fiery pit of hell. You will protect me, won't you, Tommy? And Tommy kind of looks over at that. Uh, A right arm, and then the left arm that's missing. And he says, oh, yeah. Yeah, Tommy's one of those dadless boots. I'm Melton, son of Carpenter Mary. And this is my imagery of stuff from uh, this month, 5, uh, 2000, May 2017. And, yeah, Daddy Carpenter worked on skyscrapers, Mom, Mary Ann. I'm the son of a carpenter, Mary. I get to make parables, and this is one of them. Tommy series. You can make your own Tommy video if you want. It's okay. But yes, it's wrapped in symbols, and it does have fire and brimstone. This is a fairly nice one. The son of a carpenter, Mary's parables do have fire and brimstone in. Come see me in person when you can't reach me by phone. That's what this uh, very real stuff right here is about. Serve by mail to my new address here. I haven't gotten any 911 Flight 93 checks in over eight years of asking. And I uh, haven't got any comments by phone, mail, at all, internet, about any of my imagery, 93 checks, or others. Serve by email to me. You saw the address there, 4260 Eagle Rock Boulevard, Apartment 409, Los Angeles, California, 90065. John Milton Brady's full name. 
And yeah, come see me in person. Have wit, we'll travel. That's the religious censorship, aside from the censorship of our democracy. That's the religious censorship that is keeping America and the world from going forward. Come see me in person. Have wit, we'll travel. Show me that perfect place to build Jesus' house here on earth. I'm easy to talk to. I'm a handsome bald guy there. Look for the guy with the imagery on his chest. Yeah, this I got my sander on. One, that's the image with an image. Pick up those uh, phones, pick up those digital cameras, and make those videos only you can make about Sandra. Check out the series and add to it, just like this mean Tommy Fire and Brimstone one. And yeah, have wit, will travel, so much perfect place to build that opportunity house worldwide. Call an opportunity house if you want, but yes, it's Jesus' house here on earth. You can call it an opportunity house for now, but yes, there will be a test towards the end. As Rio was having that nightmare about. Come see the guy with the eyes rebuilding. Medical research being passed by and be a part of building Jesus' house with these rebuilding eyes. 